Waziri wa usalama Edan Dwale ametaja kwamba serikali ya Kenya kwanza itahakikisha kuwa usalama unadumu katika pembe zote za nchi. Waziri Dwale aliyasema haya katika hafla uzinduzi rasmi wa shule ya wasichana wa Islamu mjini Garissa. Viongozi mbalimbali katika hafla hiyo wakiongozwa na gavana wa Garissa Nadhif Jama wamemhimiza Waziri Dwale kushinikiza serikali kuu kuajiri walimu zaidi katika eneo hilo wakisema kwamba uhaba wa walimu katika eneo hilo kumechangia kwa viwango vya elimu kushuka chini hasa sehemu za mbali. Waziri we are lacking teachers in this county. Walimu wetu they are too short. Our national schools would not have enough teachers. And you know why? There was a time when the teachers left us. Today, we have very in a number of schools where the ECD teachers that we employed are the ones who are teaching primary classes, at least the, the, the lower ones. So he, uh, it cannot go on like that. We need to bring back the students to the schools. Because of the drought, we have lost a large number of students. However, in Mashule, but now we want to carry out a huge campaign. We therefore need Banawaziri walimu waletwe back to our schools we want you to talk get hold of your colleague the minister for education we want the teachers to be brought back to the schools lakini mbunge huyo wa zamani wa Garissa mjini akikubali kwamba kuna uhaba wa walimu katika eneo la kaskazini mwa taifa alifichwa kwamba hali hii imechangiwa na ukosefu usalama thabiti huko kitoa changamoto kwa viongozi waliochaguliwa katika eneo hilo kusaidia katika juhudi za kurejesha amani nikubaya na wewe tuko na shortage ya teachers lakini kwa nini tuko na shortage ya teachers it is because of insecurity so as we address the shortage of teachers ambaye ni Serikali itaandika 30,000 as we address. Hiyo pia viongozi mimi nataka niwaombe. Sababu za mimi ni waziri wa usalama pia, wa ulinzi. Nataka tushikane, tusikubali. Matamshi yake Dwale anajiri wiki mbili baada ya watu watatu kupoteza maisha yao katika shambulizi linalodaiwa kutekelezwa na wanamgambo wa Al-Shabaab ambapo gari lao lilikanyaga kilipuzi katika eneo la Heli gatuzi ndogo ya Bura Mashariki. <laughs> Marehemu walikuwa katika msafara wa magari mengine mawili lakini wao tu ndio waliathirika. Wiki jana mtu mmoja aliuawa na wengine watano akiwemo mwanajeshi wa KDF kuumia baada ya kushambuliwa na Al-Shabaab katika barabara ya Lamu kuelekea Ijara na Garissa. Polisi na walio shuhudia kisa hicho wakisema kwamba uhalifu wao walilenga gari lililokuwa linawasafirisha wajenzi wa barabara ya Lapset. Tunajenga barabara kutoka Lamu mpaka Isiolo Marsabit. Hiyo barabara tumeweka investment mingi ya security. Lakini mnasikia kila siku what's happening. Ana tuanze kubali hiyo. We will not. So we must take security as serious as we lakini kitu gani nimefanya walimu watoroke madaktari watoroke ni sababu ya usalama we must work with our security agencies and the government will make sure we protect the lives and the property of every citizen in any part of our country Shambulizi hilo likitokea kilomita saba kutoka kwa kituo cha polisi cha Bodhai na kambi ya maafisa wa GSU katika kaunti ya Garissa ambapo kikundi hicho kilikuwa kinaelekea kazini kutoka kwa kambi ya wachina walipokuwa wanaishi. Samson Jura Mwanga wa Ebru